So ever since Shannon Sharp and uh, Skip Bayless got into it, specifically when Skip tried to embarrass Shannon Sharp by bringing up that he's jealous of Tom Brady's credentials based off of what Shannon Sharp accomplished in the NFL. And most of us knew that that was the end of their relationship as far as like you knew at some point one of them between Skip or Shannon was going to leave undisputed and it just it was over. You know, everybody said they piece about it. You can tell that for the most part, majority of people turned on Skip and then also with the whole Darvin uh, Hamlin thing or whatever where he, you know, unfortunately had an incident on the field they canceled the game skip put out that tweet shannon protested they kind of got into it again so on and so forth right well stephen a smith also says that he hasn't been that um close with skip bayless anymore you know they were on uh, first take together for years and um, they always said they were really close like brothers uh, both of them have said that they've even had their uh issues little issues with each other recently and uh Stephen a said that he talked to skip bayless about a face to face but then he had this to say when the whole shannon sharp incident happened quote i think he was wrong about shannon i thought what he did to shannon was flagrantly wrong and i called him and he never reached back out so i stopped reaching out now skip bayless is in his 70s let me see how old skip bayless. skip gotta be skip 72 years old so basically he's around my father a father a couple years older but they pretty much three years apart right skip's part of part of that era to where you know they can say what they say but when you say something to them it's world war three skip has i mean he's called people out his name and it really didn't matter what athlete whoever he had problems with certain ones that i mean quarterbacks uh lebron so on and so forth floyd mayweather the list goes on and on to where he would assault them give them different names uh well so westbrook said that his kids was being teased at school about it but when you say something to him like when jalen rose said something to him uh, what was the host on fs1 my bad jenny jen taff when she said something to him i remember he got into it with the, the stew brothers back in the day they kind of got into it it's like he's very thin skin which is crazy because if you're in the public eye and attacking people you should be able to get attacked back the same way but when Jalen Rose came out if y'all go back and remember and the show's on YouTube it was so bad that they pretty much talked about what happened the next day for pretty for a big portion of the show and I remember they had other topics going on because I watched it live that day I remember they had other topics going on they removed those topics to keep talking about it and Skip was trying to say you know uh his coach reason he didn't go to college and so on and so forth but Jalen Rose is like man how you talking about these people how you calling Kwame Brown a scrub and this man was the number one overall pick and made tens of millions of dollars and played in the NBA and I see it now you know what I mean I had a cousin that played in the league for years was he an all-star no but he wasn't a scrub and he was like the Michael Jordan of my hometown. You know what I mean? So I, I get that. And Skip was just, you can tell Skip is a very sensitive person. You know what I mean? So, but with Skip being, you know, Tom Brady so big to him that you can't critique him. Like it, it Skip was taking it too personal, even though they're being critical of athletes on, in sports. You know what I mean? It is Shannon Sharp's a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Famer can't critique another Hall of Famer, if anything. Even with Stephen A. Smith, I mean, I'm sure they had their, well, they did have some issues and they, that they've said. And even with the whole Tim Tebow thing, Skip wanted to go the whole Tim Tebow route. Tebow, Tebow, Tebow. Remember they had a the song or whatever? All he do, was it all he do is, not all he do is win. I'm thinking about uh, T-Pain. Well, I'm tripping. He, he did say all, all he does is win. We would say he's a gamer, ball, baller, shot caller. Somebody took the song or took his clips and chopped it up to a song. But yeah, he, he just skipped. Skip can rub people the wrong way, you know what I mean? And he's rubbed everybody the wrong way. And like I said, even Stephen A. Smith said he's moved on. Remember, he said no thank you a few weeks ago. He ain't, he's not coming to, to ESPN. And he, the first person he said was, I can't do that to my brother Shannon. So, you know, I, I hey, Wayne, this is it, man. If, if This is it for Skip, other than this Wayne podcast or show or whatever they about to do, in my opinion, you know. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.